Hello guys, Peter again. I've got a little terrain showcase for you this time. It's a sort of, these are just two sort of little single jungle terrain pieces. Like you can see, they're mainly covered with rocks, the sort of Sears play, bushy foliage plants again. Got some more foliage all around them. Also as well, got a little bit of sort of greeny, gunky sort of river effect going on. I don't know how that obviously looks, but it looks, it's not too bad. I just wanted to try obviously some with some green. And like you can see as well, they're both on another set of 100mm MDF bases, laser cut ones, and I just thought, I ordered them up because I was going to be making something else, and then I thought, I'm not going to be able to make the thing I want to make, so let's just turn them into some more terrain pieces. So obviously, like the first one you can see is pretty simple. The rock is sitting on top of all the sort of gunk and stuff, you've got the plants growing underneath, you've got the plants growing on top, got a little sort of dead undergrowth there and obviously some of the orange undergrowth as well to give a bit of colour that and the second one is obviously a bit more larger than that got this sort of little pool in the middle there got some more undergrowth got some sort of bark effect added to there as well obviously got the plants just say these plants this time are actually obviously glued in place just for sort of easiness in a way I've got a bit of webbing going on underneath underneath this big rock I didn't want to I was sort of considering maybe doing like a sort of water effect coming off of it. But I just went with the whole idea of webbing instead. Some more undergrowth around the sides and more webbing around that side. I can't, if you can just see it because of the plant, hopefully. And there you go, you can see more the undergrowth. Uh, sorry, the webbing. And like you can see, obviously there's sort of holes in the middle and that going right through and stuff as well. So obviously, like I say guys, these are just simply two sort of little jungle terrain pieces, obviously made on 100mm bases. They aren't scenic bases as such, they're more terrain piece than anything, but if you want to use them as a scenic base, especially this one, then that'd be fine. If, obviously, any of you want, do want to purchase these yourself, it would be handy for that. So anyway guys, these will be up on my eBay store as of right now, if you are interested in them. There's always there's links in the description if you want to follow me on any social media sites, and if you're new to the channel guys, please hit that subscribe button as well for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you next time.